Hey my little adventure buddies, today I want to talk to you about five things that you can do in Parksville, British Columbia, which is just a small little town on Vancouver Island about 20 minutes north of Nanaimo. So the first thing that we did was go to Coombs Market. Um, this is also known as Goats on the Roof. It's a really cool place. I didn't know winter was not conducive to goats on roofs, so uh, I apologize, but if you do go in the summertime, there will be goats on the roof. Um, just like the Daniel Day-Lewis movie, there will be goats. Um, so anyways, there's it's a cool market. There's a lot of shops and stuff. You can see some of these woodworkings. Some of them are not kid-friendly. Um, and then you can go into the grocery store, which has really great produce and uh, there's restaurants all around. We went across the bridge to this restaurant with the name on the sign and we got ourselves some wraps and at first I thought they were a little bit pricey um, but then you see the sheer size of these wraps and it was absolutely incredible and they were probably one of the best wraps I've ever had in my life. I got the jerk chicken, she got the the Thai chicken. Um, if you go with somebody else I suggest that you uh, split one of these wraps because it was a lot of food. The money for both of us to eat with tip and everything, it was uh, it was $40, but uh, it's it was well worth it. So the second place we decided to go to, we left Coombs and we went to uh, Englishman River Falls. And I will just let this footage speak for itself. The third place that we went to, I'm just going to kind of conglomerate two places into one, which is uh, Rath Trevor Provincial Park, and then I think it's Parksville Park. Um, so Parksville Park is like just a boardwalk along the beach. It's absolutely amazing. You can see, if you're there at the right time, you can see them building um, sandcastles. They have a sandcastle building competition in this area here. Uh, people were out flying their kites. It wasn't the greatest of weather that we had for there, but uh, it was still beautiful. I still absolutely loved it. Um, it was amazing. It was a little chilly in the winter, but uh, this older gentleman here playing the harmonica didn't seem to mind. <laughs> can get to this uh, labyrinth at the end. It's actually, it was quite cool. Um, and then Rath Trevor Park, the same sort of thing. You can walk along the beach, you can go into the woods and enjoy a walk in the woods. Um, it was pretty chilly on that day, I'll be honest. But uh, something that's really cool at low tide, you can walk out really, really far. Like you can walk halfway to Vancouver in low tide, it seems. Um, so that's really cool. That's a lot of fun. If you have kids, they probably like to play out there in the sand on the beach. So the third thing that we decided to do, we didn't actually end up getting to do it, but I got some footage of the mini putt here uh, before it started to rain. We were waiting for a lineup inside to clear. Apparently, this is the place to go to get ice cream because even though it wasn't the nicest of day, there was a big lineup for ice cream. And by the time the lineup died down, it started raining too much and I didn't want my ice cream to melt. But uh, you can go there and play mini putt. It looks like a lot of fun. And the fifth thing that we did was kind of uh, a fluke, to be honest. We had no idea. We were just out for a drive one night. I think we were going to get more ice cream. Um, and we saw a bowling alley and we're like, oh, what is that for real? So we stopped at this bowling alley. Uh, I didn't have my camera, so I didn't get any footage, but I did get this picture to show that I got the high score 
And uh, at the very last frame, I got a turkey, which is three strikes in a row. So the bowling was a lot of fun. It was like $50, I think, for both of us to bowl four games, which was, was, was about an hour. So it was, it was a cool way to end the, uh, end the day. And yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun, honestly. So if you find yourself in Parksville or stopping over in Parksville, here is five things that you can do to have fun. If you like this, click the me likey button. If you want more adventures and things and stuff like this, then I, then I suggest you subscribe. And uh, don't forget to get out for some adventures and things. I did, and I got a turkey.